This tutorial is part of our full stack React Django DRF channels project, DJ Chat. You can watch this tutorial and many more from our YouTube course playlist, or the whole course, including access to additional resources from our Udemy course. The Udemy course link, which provides the best price for the course, is in the video description. In actual fact, something else we can utilize ChatGPT for to help support developing doc strings. Now, this is something that we can definitely utilize here. We will see it in action because we are utilizing Swaggy UI, so it can be very useful. So let's take a look. I suppose we can think about a doc string, or we can think of a doc string as a type of comment that's going to provide some additional documentation. And we're moving back into documentation. In the next tutorial, we'll move back to Swagger and actually see this in action. But let's just put this in place and you can decide whether this is going to be valuable to you or whether you're going to utilize it or not. But doc strings then, like I said, is a type of comment that we can set up. So a doc string is a or considered or we can describe it as a literal that appears as the first statement of a module or a function or a class or a method definition. So here we can add, for example, a doc string at the top here. That's going to provide some additional information, which is going to help us be able to work with this particular function. I think it has um, particular usefulness here because we are have we have created a filter. There are some different options here. So having a summary of how to actually utilize this um, class here could be fairly useful. I apologize, I don't mean class. We're gonna utilize it here in this function, um, not necessarily the class. Because um, remember this class is a view set, it will have a list, it might have other options at the moment. We only have a get request that we're gonna pass into this and that's gonna be captured here in this list. We may start to produce or include post and that's going to potentially then utilize a a different set of instructions and potentially a different doc string. So we're going to add a doc string here in this list. So what we're going to do, we're going to ask uh, ChatGBT to create our doc string uh, for this particular function. Now there are some different styles here. Probably the most popular, shall we say, is the Google style doc string. Um, so we can definitely ask ChatGBT to generate uh, different styles. But this is something that we're going to be utilizing, the, the Google style doc string. You will find plenty of information about the Google doc string style. Um, if you just type that into uh, Google, pick on one of these options here. As an example here, it's going to give you a general overview of how to outline or how to lay out the doc string in this particular style. Uh, so let's go back to ChatGPT. Okay, so let's ask it to build a doc doc string in the Google style. And we paste in the function there. And here we go. So this function here returns a list of servers filtered by various parameters. Seems correct so far. Um, arguments request a Django request object containing query parameters, returns a query set, and raises an error in certain cases. Okay, so that seems like a a good start at least. So let's just take that and let's put that into our code here. So a little, little bit of formatting going to be needed. There we go. So let's ask it to go a little bit deeper than that. So add more detail to doc string. Let's see if we can expand upon this slightly. Okay, so we've definitely got some additional information this time. This time we're actually told and provided information about the different query parameters, which is going to be very useful, as well as providing an example. Again, that can be uh, really useful too in some situations. So yeah, I think that's a probably a better example in some respects. So let's just add that in there. Now you can see that's going to take a massive amount of... Uh, space. So that's definitely something to consider. Um, there we go. There's a, a doc string. So something for you to consider utilizing and learning a little bit about which can be helpful for others to be able to utilize your code.